Hello, I welcome you all. The problem reads, uh, we have a motor that winds in the cable with a constant acceleration such that the 20 kg crate moves a distance S equal to 6 meters in 3 seconds starting from rest. Determine the tension developed in the cable. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the crate and the plane is mu k equal to 0.3. Uh, this problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Dynamics, uh, 14th edition by R.C. Ibella. Alright, so we are going to solve this particular problem progressively. We are first going to, we just want to see how the force or the tension itself changes when the whole system is in static equilibrium to the point where it is in dynamic equilibrium all right so this is what i'm saying let's draw our coordinate let's say this is our coordinate that we are going to be using so this is our x this is our y let's section this uh, cable there so we we'll have uh, some tension force let's say they are like so and also the other side and then we have uh, the weight, okay, the weight of this particular crate acting through the center of gravity, and then we are going to have components uh, one along the x, right? There we go, and another one along the uh, y, like so, and then we do have. Uh, motion is going towards the positive x so we'll have friction in the opposite direction like so then we'll have the normal force uh, like so so let's label this so this is our normal force um, this is our normal force and this is the kinetic friction this is the weight. Okay. And what else do we have? Let me define just a little bit of the angles there. So, um, let's say we do have this here. Okay. So, this is uh, if this is theta. It means this one here is 90 minus theta and uh, this one will be theta here right and this theta is equal to 30 degrees so this one is our theta which is 30 degrees so this becomes uh, W cos theta and this one becomes W uh, sine theta this is our tension T, this is our T. All right, and then we have our motion. Okay, so let's say, of course our motion, let's say it's in this direction like so, AX, and let's say we have another one in this direction like so, AY. This is our AX and this is our AY. Okay. So I've written uh, the uh, the free body diagram here, which we are going to use for the equations of motion. But like I said, we want to discuss this not only to solve this problem that, but we so that we just appreciate how the tension itself changes in for different cases. Okay. So I'll write the general equation here, equation of motion. So I'll say, all right, so let's write, <coughs> write down the equation of motion. And then later on, explain the different cases where the system is in static equilibrium. Later on, in a, a move, move to dynamic equilibrium. So let's start with the summation of forces in the y equal to m a y 
going in this direction being our reference but we know that our acceleration in the y will be zero and therefore we have n minus w cos theta is just equal to zero therefore n is just equal to w cos theta so our n is equal to mg cos theta and then we have summation of forces in the x in this direction being our reference and this is equal to m a x what do we have in this direction we do have t minus uh, w sine theta minus fk and this is equal to m a x a x is constant okay therefore we can use this equation we can use this equation uh, s naught i mean s is equal to s naught plus v naught plus uh, half a c t square making a c itself subject to the formula this just becomes our a c is equal to a x which is just going to be equal to s minus s naught uh, minus v naught t divided by 0.5 t square all right and uh, our f k is just equal to mu k n right this is just equal to mu k n and our n we calculated n this is just mu k m g cos theta okay so we have t therefore equal to therefore t becomes equal to uh, mg sine theta plus component of uh, friction which is mu k mg cos theta then plus the component of acceleration which is m and then we have s minus s naught minus v naught t divided by 0.5 t squared at this point we have solved the problem right but let's look at how the tension itself progresses from static equilibrium to dynamic equilibrium so let's look at case one where the system is in static equilibrium okay and then assume assume the surface the surface is the inclined surface where the crate is the inclined surface is smooth okay right so if this is the assumption we are making let's look at the condition that constitutes this static equilibrium so in this particular case we are assuming that v which is the speed of the cable is either constant or v is equal to zero okay so v is equal to zero okay okay where it is stationary it's not moving so at such a case like this therefore we know that our a which is our acceleration will be equal to zero okay and fk fs is just going to be equal to fk and is equal to o zero okay so if that's the case then we expect our t to just be equal to mg sine theta which is just equal to 20 
by 9.81 sine 30. Therefore, t will just be equal to, we have 20 by sine 30 is a 10, 10 by 9.81, this becomes a 98.1 newtons. All right, let's look at another case. So let's look at case two. Again, let's consider static equilibrium. And in this particular case, let's say uh, static equilibrium and assume there is kinetic friction between there is kinetic friction on the inclined surface there is kinetic friction on the inclined surface so this is assumption number two and in this particular case we are assuming that um we are assuming that v is constant or v is equal to zero and our acceleration still remains equal to zero but fk is there so our t just becomes equal to mg sine theta plus mu k mg cos theta so t is going to be equal to 20 uh, 20 by 9.81 and factor it out then we have sine 30 plus 0 0.3 uh, cos 30 Therefore, T is just going to be equal to uh, sine 30 plus cos 30, then by that, then like so. Okay, let me check it. And sine 30 plus uh, there so, and then Alright, so this becomes a 149.07 newtons. Is that so? Okay. It's quite big, right? Right. So this is how the tension increases when we assume there is some kinetic friction there. So let's go to the last case, case 3, okay, this is where the system is in dynamic, dynamic equilibrium, okay, and assume there is kinetic friction okay on the inclined surface therefore our free, our attention just becomes equal to mg sine theta plus mu k mg cos theta plus um m s minus s naught minus v naught t divided by 0.5 t squared where our s is equal to 6 our t is equal to 3 
uh, v node is equal to zero uh, s node is equal to zero therefore our t just becomes equal to uh, 20 by 9.81 20 um, by 9.81 sine 30 plus 0.3 by 9.81 cos 30 plus Uh, plus um, plus six minus zero minus zero by three and everything divided by point five by three squared okay then maybe I use the square brackets like so and also this one here I use the square brackets All right, then our t just becomes equal to, for a case like this one, our t will be uh, 9.81 sine 30 plus 0.3 plus 0.3 by 9.81 cos 30 plus 6 by divided by 0.5 by 3 squared okay and then by 20 so here we have a 175 point 74 newtons right i think this is our final solution we've seen how the acceleration itself increases uh, the tension right it increases the tension okay to 98.1 no friction 149.07 there is uh, friction but no acceleration and then in the last case we have uh, the acceleration and of course the value increases so I hope this particular video was helpful and if it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and sharing my channel. Bye-bye and I'll see you in my next uh, screencast.